fellow travelers, your traveling buddy here, coming to you today from Okemos, Michigan. And I just recently found out about this historical cemetery that's out here in Okemos on uh, this road called Doby Road. If you don't know, Okemos was founded by Native Americans. But there's a cemetery out here called the Poor Farmers Cemetery. And it's right over here by this medical center out here. And right here is the Poor Farmers Cemetery. So let's go investigate this cemetery. Travel with me, will you? give you a little bit of history of this uh, cemetery. It says uh, down the way the road of Okemos, a little graveyard called the Ingham County Home Cemetery or, or officially called the Poor Farm Cemetery. The cemetery was used to bury folks who lived in the Ingham uh, County Poor Farm and weren't able to take care of themselves or afford their own funerals or burials. Upon walking around the stones, you'll notice that most of the dates of the tombstones are from the 1800s to 1940s. Some of the bodies of the poor farm residents were, who were buried in the graveyard were actually sold to use for research. The original Lincoln County poor farm was founded in 1844 and involved in uh, 1878 to the present site of the Ingham County Medical Care Facility, just a few feet north of the cemetery. It's fairly easy to m have missed seeing this tiny cemetery, and many of us didn't don't even travel down this section of Doby Road. If you tend to visit these, there are benches where you can sit, and reflect the soak up the atmosph atmosphere. There's also handy walkways on both sides of the road and historical markers uh, greets visitors. And here's the historical marker. It says the Ingle County Historical Marker. Ingle County Home C Cemetery. This cemetery was used to bury residents of the Ingle County Poor Farm in the late 1800s until the early 1940s. These people lived in the Poor Farm because they were unable to care for themselves to their tombstones are a reminder of the lives and the places they called home and right there is the cemetery not very big at all this one's been knocked over right here boy these are so old you can almost barely read some of them this is I could read the last name, Bull, but I can't read the first name. Died. God, I can't even read the date when they died. Wow. That's very worn. There's a bunch of them right here next to the fence. And there's the walkway they're talking about. Another walkway across there. Yeah, a lot of these you can't even read them. They're very worn. Yeah, I can't even read that date. Wow. Some of them aren't so bad. That one right there isn't too bad. Thomas. King, I think this is, died April 3rd, 1893. Aged something, I can't read the bottom of it. What is this one? Peter, Peter something, I can't really read it. April 30th, 1893. 
the, I can't really read the age part. That's part of the end of the ground. As well as You've got mail. Jordan. Is a no John. John Wagner died June third, eighteen ninety three. How, how old he was. He was 27 years old. I can't read the name. Actually, Joseph. I think you can see Joseph a little bit. And there's a lot of uh, tombstones up here. Even for not a very big cemetery. That's one you can read pretty good. John Hudson died November 28th. 1893. A lot of them died in 1893. Age. Let's see. Let me see. That one. 76. 76 years old when he died. A lot of males. Of course, most farmers were males. I haven't seen any women yet. What's this one? Oh. I spoke too soon. Sarah Holmes died February 8th, 1894. Can't read how old she was when she died. But yeah, that was Sarah. That's the first woman I, was, woman I saw. Wow. See, these ones aren't too bad. That one just has their last name, it looks like. Nelson. I don't have to see the first name. July 22nd, 1896. Age 75 years old. So a lot of these people look like they died fairly old. Walters, see, that's another one. There's no last name. Died April 10th, 1896. Age 61. That yeah, makes you wonder, they say some of these you know, there's no bodies underneath there. But their bodies were sold probably for science. You know, taken and cut up and sold, you know, research done. At least they have a cemetery for them. Remember them. Eliza Morrison died February 19th, 1895. Age 8. That one was 8 years old. Oh no, I take it back. 84. Let's see the 4. I thought I said 8. It looks like there's a 4 right next to it, maybe 84. So a lot of these people are old. That died out here. It's a beautiful little area. It's cool that they've done this. I said, not sure where, I wonder where the original cemetery was. Oh, here's some different ones here. There's no marker there. But you see the imprint thing. There used to be a marker in there. I wonder if somebody stole it. 
See, this one's a different too. Jim Stewart died May 4th, 1940. This is like just a regular cement slab type. It's like a, almost like a homemade. It almost looks homemade. Here's another one. I like that one. That was 1942. See? Almost looks like it's the way it's carved in there. It's like somebody personally made that. I think his name was Jerry Sherman. Sheeman died November 8th, 1940. Some of these are really old. Oh, that one's real. Look at all the moss in that one. It's kind of weird how that moss just went right into the little lettering. Nelson. Nelson. This one here is Sidney Smith. Can't really read how when the died. Probably 1940s. A lot of these are 1940s. Looks like. Uh, what was it? What's that? Adrian Vanderlein died December 2nd, 19-something. Like 30-something. Like 30-something. There's another one where the moss just grew right into the lettering almost. It's kind of weird. James something. Some of these are really overgrown. You almost can't see some of these like that one there. I mean, it's really all the grass and stuff that's growing right over. Hey. Some of these, you, you, you really can't read them too much. And then, these ones here almost look like personal, like somebody personally made them. Yeah, so I didn't even know there was tombstones over this way. I saw this whole area. But as you walk up on them, they're really in there. That's weird. See, there's some here. They're right up here on these trees right here. There's the fence right there. I wonder if there could be some stones in there. Because this one here is like right here. Right up in there. So some of these, until you really get up on them, you can't really can't really. I see they died in 35. This is July. No, May. 13th. 35. See, some of these, are, you can really read them. Ernest Brown. April 3rd. 1935. February 1st. See, like I said, this one here, I mean, the way they've carved it out, it looked like they just poured the cement and they tore, took like a stick or something and carved it out. That's what it looks like to me. Look at that, I mean. 
A lot of people probably don't even know this place is here. That was 1933. Steve Damuxki. Sam Smith, August 8th, 1933. That's an interesting name. Otto Hess, August 4th, 1933. That's an interesting name. I think those those ones are the 1800 ones right there. And these ones here are like the 1940s. Yeah. See right over there is that medical center they talked about. That's where I got my truck parked. Here's some more of the stand up ones back here. 1911. Herman. Human. Uh, was it Herman Smith? J died January 10th, 1911. Age 79 years old. See a lot of them. 70, like in the 70s. So they must have been maybe like an old folks home or something. That's what it makes me wonder. Well, that guy was 78. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a hole right there. Goes right down in there. That's weird. I don't see any back there. Anna. Is it Anna Flapper? Died May 12th. 19. So I can't really read that. 86 years old. See, these ones are more stood up. Miss Mary Mathers died August 22nd, 1911, age 76. See, a lot of these were old. Pretty old. old. And this here, I just saw this from back there. There's no name on it. That looks like one of those square ones like you see in a normal cemetery. See no name on it or anything. Huh. Yeah, I don't see any back there. I have to look up the history more about the poor farmers. Obviously, I don't think the place exists anymore. There's another one of them holes. I wonder what's out here. Jackson died March 28th, 1909, age 30, no, yeah, that one was young, 36, that's the youngest one I've seen so far, 36 right there, Isaac Jackson, wow, look at this old tree stump. Obviously, it was falling apart, so they removed it. They left the stump. Wow. 
a lot of old stones out here. Not the, you know, I'm not into the paranormal stuff myself, but I got friends that do it. I might have to bring them out here. Maybe they want to do an investigation out here. 1910. Oh, this one here. Somebody's put things so they can put flowers in there. Oh, that's an interesting name. Friend Fishbeck. Died August 29th, 1910. Age 70. His name was Friend. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if that was his real name or is that a nickname? That's a, it clearly says Friend. Wow. Yeah, I have never heard of this place until now. It's a Mary King. Died October 18th, 1908. So I've never heard of this place. So this is just outside of Lansing in Okemos. Pretty peaceful out here. Alright fellow travelers, that's about it here for this little tour around the Poor Farmer's Cemetery. Right here in Okemos, Michigan. So if you ever get a chance to get down here, come check it out. It's over here off of Adobe Road. Uh, it's not very big, but it's it's very interesting, you know. I'd like to find out more information about this poor farmer's place. It sounds like it's like an old folks home type place. Or old farmers. You know, it's it's interesting. I never heard of this place. And 
like I said, most of those two uh, people out there were like in their 70s, 80s. Except for that one that was like 35 years old. It's very interesting. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Share, subscribe. Any comments for me? Any comments appreciated? Any ideas for me to do? Let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers, I'll see you around the mitten.